Hey guys, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and welcome back. Let's play some more of our Prussian Space Marines here in EU4. Before that, let me take a sip of my coffee. Very important. Could have done it before I started the recording, but... Anyways, we are needing to siege down Stade, or however that's pronounced, and Dithmarschen. And uh, our truce is up with the Platinate in a few months. So I'm going to get my boys in position to thoroughly whoop them as soon as we are able. Um, I'll have these guys come up here. I'll have these guys come over here. We don't have a claim on Dresden, sadly. I only have one claim on him. I had some claims on Holland I could have probably taken, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. The dev cost is nice. Um, this state is pretty good. I think we're going to turn you off, and then let's dev this state up here. There we go. Not bad. Where else can we get some more manpower? Hmm. What exactly does this do again? Supply limit. Okay, so it doesn't affect manpower, does it? Do we have any grain at all? Grain provinces? Looks like we've already dev'd up most of them. This province over here could get dev'd, so let's dev this one. A little bit of manpower. And... Here we go. We are now eligible to become an empire. And we are now losing <gasps> Sacre Bleu over our governing cap. Yes, we're going to have to figure that out. Going to have to figure that out. That's okay, though. Our army tradition. So basically, we just need to figure out, get some buildings built up, and then we can do that. And if we need to, we can boost it. It's not a huge deal. We're now an empire, and we accept all of these cultures, meaning we will core it all up very, 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 very quickly now, which is wonderful. And we're just waiting for September. Looks like this dude's having some issues with some rebels. Our income is now good again, for reasons. Um, what is it actually from? Oh, looting is doing a bit. Our trade, yeah, it's about the same as where it was before. I think I would like to get some more trade power over here and steer into here, but um, just short of going up and sieging down and taking all this stuff, we don't really have a whole lot of room to grow up there. So you guys are going to do all this stuff. Give me your war reps and your monies. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. You don't have a say. As soon as I siege down Bremen, there you go. And I will take this province here. He will not exist anymore. We lost a general. Let's go with some... Hmm. I suppose trade. He'll help pay for himself in part. That's fine. Get these boys down in position. We're going to invade the Palatinate here. ASAP. Palatinate has claimed Magdeburg. You sons of guns. Couple of months here. Let's get some claims over here on these boys as well. One claim, one single claim. Let's also mothball our navy, because uh, that'll save us a little bit of cash. Lithuania wants a royal marriage. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, as soon as we core this up, I am going to spend some mana on getting our um, inflation down, because inflation is hurting us quite a bit. As soon as our coalition is over. There we go. On halt, Bohemia, Platinate. A couple of peeps. Does he still have the personal union? He does. Well, that's good. It means he can't join a coalition. So, how come Austria won't join? Debt. <laughs> Such is uh, the EU4 AI. Let's get uh, our siege generals on these boys. And then have you guys siege down Dresden with him. There we go. Not bad. All of his rebels are suiciding into my armies. Dude, did we just win that siege instantly? It looked like we did, so that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. Look at that. Yikes. Hungary joined a coalition. Who else joined a coalition? Dortmund and these guys. So who else could join? Poland, I think. Poland is going to join for sure. All right, so in this war, is there anything... 
Eight provinces in Westphalia. We need Brunswick just to form the nation. Uh, and then the rest will be coming from Holland over there. And that will give us claims in the North Rhine, which is, I believe, right here. Yeah, North Rhine. So that'll be good. And then I'd like to work my way down to Ansbach, but it looks like that's not going to happen anytime soon. Develop a university, which I think we get this next tech. So we'll do that. Faith's Bastion, we will get whenever we are able to finally convert our own land again. We have one province that I can't convert. Makes me very sad. Right here. Till 1611. So if I wanted to, I could release Opaly. <laughs> that would allow us to do that, but um, probably not youth worth it. I would like to pick up a new vassal here. So I'm curious, if we were to siege down Prague, which, which you guys know what that means, right? I hope you know what it means. Time to get out your shot glasses, lads. Who else joined the coalition? Ulm. <gasps> and Saxony. Ulm, though. That's the one I'm concerned about. Nice. On halt. Yeah, everybody's joining our coalition. It's fine. It's not going to attack, so I'm not concerned. If it did attack, it would be attacking into me, Austria, who honestly at this point may dishonor the call. There we go. Siege this stuff all down. Come on down here and siege down Lonshut. Yeah, it's not going to fire. There's no chance it fires. Not against us. After this war, we'll be number one world power, I think. Eh, I don't know. Spain? Spain is colonizing pretty quickly. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Make sure you take your shot. Could I transfer him? No, I could not. Sadly. So I suppose in this war, I'll just take what I have a claim on. Will we get any more claims if we do this on him specifically? No. Berg, we do. So Berg, I'm on a white piece. Because I'm going to get a claim on him in this mission. And then this one, Merchant and Canton. Okay, not going to happen anytime soon. Empower the Junkers. Need to have 60. Uh-huh. I don't really know how to do this. How to get them more influential. Strong duchies would be good. Maybe we cut our general cost out since we don't need that anymore. But the army tradition decay is also pretty good. We want this. I want the manpower for sure. It gives them influence anyways. Yeah, I suppose just summoning the diets is going to be the best one to do that. Base manpower in Pluck. Or Ostfriesland gets a thinger. So let's get rid of... And keep the marketplace there. Get rid of the shipyard, I suppose. Build a workshop. And there we go. So, I'm just trying to think if there's anything more I want to take in this war. The Duchy of Cleves. Lower Rhineland, Hess, Palatinate. Okay, so all we want is this province here, and then next war with Holland, we will take that. So, I will allow this truce to go a little bit longer then. Something like this. 75 is fine. AE is just a number. Prestige is already maxed out. There we go. Still haven't cored up from the previous war. Get some boys over here. Over here. And maybe, just maybe, it's about time we went back to war with the auto blob, yeah? Attack Poland. Oh, Poland joined the coalition, right. France is allied to these dudes. They are at war with Burgundy. So if I just wait it out, I don't think he'll join. Yeah, 
we'll see how we'll see what we can come up with here. Can I avoid? Let's get those guys over here. These guys grouped up. Trent entered a coalition. Provence entered a coalition. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Get these guys all drilling because we don't have any rebels that are coming. And let's build a couple more of state houses. Farm estate. Let's get rid of that church there. Build a state house. That will help. Basically all the high dev states, we just want to make sure we're building those buildings in them. We already have one in these two states. How we look in here. Okay, we're barely over it. And once we get this next government reform, we'll be able to start spending all of our um, these points things on um, ripping through that. So England joined the coalition. Uh, looking a little beefy now. But uh, don't reckon it's gonna fire. I think we're fine. England has 29,000 men and no, um, whatchamacallit, um, no manpower. So I'm definitely not worried about that one. Let's core this up as well. Next thing is going to be embracing this. Spawned in Toledo. Okay. When can I do this again? First off, let's yoink some crown land. That's going to take a little bit of their... Um, stuff. But if I do there... I should I should have just done their mission. That was a misplay. Should be fine, though. Let's get you guys there and you guys there. Since we're just going to be kind of chilling for a minute. Um, yikes. All right, whatever. Nice. Gained an extra fire pip. Uh, I'll repay the loan. I'll buy our inflation down a bit. Nice. Free mana for inflation. <laughs> Worth. We are going to finish this up. Um, the yearly absolutism and maximum is good. We could become a republic. Let's do this. I got a lot of comments saying like, oh, don't worry about absolutism. I'm still going to try to max it out if I can. And it looks like we are now gaining militarization again. Because, oh, we're barely over our governing cap now. Well, that's cool. All right. So we got this one. Reform the state. I'll just gain the legitimacy. Reform the state, the Prussian legal system. Yes, start in God's name. Government reform progress. Admin for the rest of the game. For a stab? Uh, that's probably good. I mean, it's 60 mana every tech. Versus 200 right, outright. So I suppose this is probably good. You hate to lose the stability, but that's okay. And now we'll be able to, every once in a while, click this button, which will help us out a bit as well. Speaking of, can we lower our autonomy any? No, we can, but we're going to wait until absolutism rolls around. I mean, we can state all this stuff up. Yep, we're good. Provincial unrest in a couple of provinces. Not worried about it. Gaining a lot of manpower. Are we number one now? Oh my gosh, we're so close. He keeps going up, just incrementally, incrementally going up. Let's click this button, which will give us 20 governing capacity. That will help. However much. Truce is up with these guys when? 17, so we got 12 more years. Yikes. All right, maybe we should attack Den Denmark. He's joining my coalition as well. Damn. Hmm. Well, maybe 
Just maybe we attack our coalition. I mean, it's not going to get any smaller. And if I could call in my allies. No truce with you guys? We do. I have a claim on Dortmund. He's in my coalition. Spain would not join because he's uh, 12, 13,000 ducats in debt. And Austria would not join because he has low manpower. So I guess we're just going to chill for a bit. Let our allies recover. Uh, we should build up to our force limit soon. As a matter of fact, let's actually, since we're here, redo our templates. Let's go with 30. And then I got in a comment asking, why did I put it a little bit wider than the actual force limit? The main reason is because um, when you make a template here, so say I send in 30,000 men with in the front, 30,000 in the back. And they these guys take some beatings. They go to the next fight, and there's only 27,000. That means there's 3,000, and then when you shift consolidate, there's only there's three regiments that are missing from the front line, so there will be cannons in the front line. So if you go a little bit over, say 35, you can shift consolidate, and you will take those five and push them down into the middle. Hope that explains a little bit why I do what I do. So let's do that here. These guys already match that template, apparently. Get these guys up here. Get these guys to match that template. And these two dudes do not match. So I'll have these guys head over here, and they will be the basis for our next stack. Which uh, is just going to be infantry. We can afford it. It's no big deal. Uh, we can get uh, seven more. And there we go. We're now at our force limit. We will not be... It'll make us less likely to get attacked by a coalition. All fine and dandy. Let's shift consolidate there, which, uh, shift consolidate, for those of you who do not know, is a little, you know, term that a lot of people will use. Essentially what you do. So let's just say you have two. So we have two stacks, one of 19 and one of 15, right? If I want to shift, I, or not, uh, if I want, I, I said shift consolidate, I think. Shuffle split is what I meant to say. And that was a, a term coined by Arumba. So what you do is you sh split both of these units. So you have a stack of 10 and a stack of half, roughly. Send that half over and that half over. Now you have two stacks of 17, right? So that's how that works. Our general died. It's just a quick and easy, quick and dirty way to get yourself a little bit of extra... Um, organization without having to micro it a ton. Okay. I am still really tempted to do this. I don't think it would be an issue. It's much more an issue of, will I get siege down? <laughs> Probably is the answer, yes. So, because we would be fighting on multiple fronts, mostly over here and then up here. You know... I gotta give you guys something to watch, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a coalition war, huh? I need this province anyways. This is rifle, rifle Prussian clay. Oh, nice. Junkers gain loyalty. Hopefully the war won't last that long. Let's, let's actually drill for a couple more months. So I am going to... I'm going to wait until we can... Uh, let's click this button here. Where's it at? Here. Empower the Junkers, which will give us militarization and army tradition decay. That will help out our army tradition from dropping. Um, but more importantly, keep our militarization up. It's fine. Keep building these state houses or courthouses, whatever. Nice. Army professionalism and mill mana for free. Burger loyalty, Junker loyalty, and clergy loyalty. Advisor cost. That's fine. Cav shock. Force or supply limit. Neither of those are super important. France just joined our coalition and Saxony left it. Again, not worried about them. Sweden left coalition as well. Dortmund left coalition, so that's great. 
it's our aggressive expansion with you. 245, 248. They're like, you know what? Maybe we can't beat you. Well, fine by me. Do I have a claim on Utrecht? I do. Hmm. That's fine. Because this war won't last much longer than a year. And then what we'll do is we'll peace out this war. Oop. Go on in there. We will grant these guys their thing that will give them loyalty. And then... So I would like to annex both of them. Because I have claims on both of them. Pay a little bit of extra AE. That's okay. Oh wow, everybody's leaving the coalition. That's actually really good for us. Um, let's see here, what do I need to click this button? Two more provinces, so I take those two provinces and I'll be able to immediately click this and then attack our coalition through Nassau. So let's plan on that then. Yeah, because our coalition is essentially just over here and then Denmark, which is like, who cares about them? Ah, uh, Brabant, get off the fort, homie. Give me the siege. I will handle this siege. I would really like to get this tech. Extra governing cap is going to be really good as well. We're below it right now, if you can believe it. Frankfurt? Sure, just to add insult to injury, I'll wipe out his army. I will do this. Let's uh, separate peace mines, so they are having the longest peace possible. And then this one here, we'll full annex both of them. Very good. I can click that button, which will give me permanent claims on the North Rhine, which includes Col Nassau and Cologne and Berg. And I will immediately attack these boys, which will call in our coalition, which is beefy, but uh, nothing I'm concerned about. These guys have a claim on a couple of things over here as well. I'll take it for myself, because why not? And uh, it's time to fight a couple of boys. I'm not worried about most of them, honestly. He doesn't have any forts over here, so that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, Saxony. Who's in this war? Oh, Nassau is also in a war with Saxony. Yes, he is. Well, let's see if I can catch his army out over here. As far as navy goes, we actually have naval supremacy. Um, possibly. I'll unmothball my, my navy and see if there's anything I can do there. Need to watch out for France. Um, they may not have a big army, but they are France. They will build one, and they will come in, and they will jump on me. So, just got to be aware. Let's march up our boys here. I still can't believe that Burgundy expanded as much as they did. There we go. Do a quick little scorch here. If they want to cross the strait, they can, but they're going to have to um, deal with some reinforcements. So Saxony is in this war now. Oh, they're allied. I didn't even catch that. Oopsies. That's fine. Give these guys a couple of months. Let them repair. No big deal. Let's come on over. Get, get France siege down as well. This whole war will be for one province. Which is kind of funny. That's all I'm taking. That's all I have claims on. Though I wish I could have gotten a claim on... Uh, these boys. That's all good. We'll be able to get on to uh, Denmark's capital as well. They only have 12,000 men, so it's actually not looking very good for them. Got a disease outbreak on Paris. Son of a gun. Yeah, this is not looking bad at all. Mm -hmm. Trade efficiency for 10 years. Sounds good. Got another disease outbreak on Paris. Come on now, let's win a siege. 
Brant's over here sieging this down. Oh, look at this. 40 days, they have plus 20 defensiveness, but you already know that they're making some crazy progress on that fort. There you go, they broke off. That's good. Whoopsies, guess I'm gonna fight some uh, rebels over here for Burgundy. Thank you. And, uh, should be pretty straightforward, yeah. So we actually... Cologne is in this war. So here's an annoying thing, is that whenever you attack them, it says that they will be a coalition. But, uh, they'll be a co-belligerent, but they actually aren't. You can see with the red flag, it says they are not a co-belligerent. But, uh, I'll probably actually give Cologne to, um, Brabon. Since he's got a claim on it as well. We can pay a little bit of Diplo. It's not a big deal. Cool. Alright, boys. Well, that will do it for this one. I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. Things are really starting to pick up here. We are closing in on Admin Tech 20. And uh, taking off a couple of these boxes, we're just going to have to advance to the south. Um, we have the North German Confederation established and uh, consolidating right now. And uh, soon we'll be able to work our way down to the south, form Germany, and then we're going to go through the German mission tree. I've had some people say, are you going to form Germany? Of course I am. That's the whole point of the campaign. We're going to form Germany and we're going to explore their mission tree. Prussia's mission tree is cool as well. So if you guys are excited, make sure you show your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you want to support us, we have a Patreon. And then if you want to check out what's going on over in the Discord, it also sends out pings whenever we upload our videos. So if you don't get them from YouTube and you'd like them from Discord, it's going to be in the description below. That's all I got for you, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Oh, hey, you made it to the end of the video. That's pretty cool. Make sure you check out a couple of these videos that we have linked based on the YouTube algorithm. And a big special thanks to my January patrons, Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, M. Dressel, Tharup, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Jay Cutchell, N. Winkler, RJ Pilot, and many more. You guys are wonderful. Your support is very much appreciated.